there's an old analogy about chamber music that I love constantly. You know, just the the idea is that when Mr. Beethoven wrote a symphony, he he was a king dressed in his robes of state, and he brings out the trumpets and the horns and the drums and, and comes in with six white horses and does his kingly thing in the grand manner. When Mr. Beethoven writes a string quartet or a trio, he's the same king. It's just he's not talking in that formal language of state. He doesn't pull out his trumpets and drums and every color in the orchestral palette. And, and he, uh, he speaks it, it, somewhere from a very personal way. And you feel like you know a side of Mr. Beethoven that you just won't meet any other way. And it's a great side. He's a nice guy doing you know, this Dofnani quintet that we're playing. It's by a Hungarian composer that somehow has not quite made it into the pantheon of the very greatest, the, the names that everybody knows. And yet he is a genius of that order. And this is his Opus One, his first piece that he published. And he was 18 when he wrote it. And it's just a thrilling 18-year-old performance. It's just, he's a complete master. He knows just how to say what he wants to say. And what he says is, is young and passionate and melodious and brilliant. And it has a lot of flavor because it's, it's uh, Hungarian music. It's, down the river from Budapest, it's down the river from Vienna, and it has a flavor all its own that none of the other great quintets, the Schumann and Brahms and, and so on, don't have that wonderful Hungarian flavor. And it's a real charmer.